What's up guys? Here we go again on another amazing photography abandoned mansion adventure. As you guys saw from the exterior, it's a big, gorgeous, very old, historic abandoned mansion. Guys, this place is massive. There are so many rooms in this house. It's beautiful. I mean, I've never seen so many beautiful bathrooms in a place like this. It's so old. So let's go looking at my face, guys. Let's turn the camera on and get right to it. Okay. So we'll start right here in the foyer and show you guys this massive, this beautiful staircase that you see. As soon as you walk in the front door of the house, look at this. This is the first thing I saw when I looked in the window. And I'm like, I'm getting in here. And luckily, it was very easy. There wasn't much effort required to get in here. So, so there does seem to be some kind of work either currently happening or it was happening and it's stopped. But it did look like there was some work going on to try and do some renovations and restorations of the place. But from what I can tell, it, it looks to me like it's stopped and they're not doing the work anymore because there's no tools laying around, there's no like, there's a couple of trucks and stuff out on the, on the property, as you can see right there, but I don't know, I feel like they haven't been working on this in, a, in quite some time. But then there's this guy here. I got no idea who this guy is or what his deal is. Um, I know there's a lot of history online about this place, so I'm gonna look it up and see if I can find that for you, and I'll throw it in the voiceover at the end of the video when I do some uh, static panning stuff throughout the rooms, okay? Okay, so yeah, here you can see where they were doing some work to restore some walls. Got a nice fireplace here. It's so quiet. The guys, this place is in the middle of nowhere. Like I, I know I always say, or some of us guys always say, you know, in the middle of the woods or in the middle of nowhere where really it's like just off a main road. Well, I'll show you guys in the drone footage later. This thing is massively like right in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere. Huge open land. And then there's just this massive old mansion just out there. Here's our first bathroom. This isn't a nice bathroom. Wait till I get upstairs, guys. What's up, guys? You'll see how nice the bathrooms are upstairs in the light. Somebody left their, uh, their helmet and their goggles here. Yeah, there's so many windows, so the natural light in here is just amazing. Like, look at this. Look at all these, look at these windows. Three huge windows. Wow. That's nice. Another fireplace here. And like there's so many hallways and rooms and man. So now we're going into like a kitchen area. There's a sink right there. Oh, that's nice, eh? Look at that, let me bring that down a little bit. There you go. Must be like a pantry here. Here is another kitchen. There's my stuff right there. A couple of old bottles here. Sweet cider, club soda, and turtle wax. Big old stove right here. And then this is just so nice. Like places like this don't have to have a lot of don't have to have stuff in them because the light and the colors and stuff just make up for having nothing in the house. Whew, that's nice. Servant stairs. Okay, we still got a little bit more back here to see. Thank you. 
This room is so cool. Look at this old fridge, guys. Turn my light on so we can read this. L, Barth and Son. Everything at one place from New York City. And up here is your element to keep things cold. And then here is your fridge. And then there's uh, other spots right here. Isn't this cool? It's so old. All right, and then there's another room back here, like a sunroom. All right, let's head up to the second floor. So we're currently on the second floor. This is a set of servant stairs that we're gonna come back down. So we're gonna do this whole floor. And we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go up a set of stairs, all through the attic and the upstairs, and then we're gonna come down right here, okay? Okay. in the bathroom here. It's very dusty, what's up guys? Fireplace. All right, moving right along, guys. The closet. And then here's another room, nice big deep windows. Look at this, hey? Wow. Okay, so now we get to the nice bathrooms. What's up guys? Got your sink there, and you come around, and you got a nice deep tub. Still got your curtain, no not your curtain, but your rod. There's your shower head. All right, let's go. That's a big window. Their wing now. Take a look from this angle for you guys there. There you go. All right, another nice bathroom here. I don't know why I love the bathrooms here so much. I think it's just like the colors and the textures and then like the decay of the paint. And I really wish the shower curtain was still here. There's a piece of it, <laughs> but not the rest of it. guys there's so many rooms I will be able to tell you 
when I give you the history, how many rooms there are. I'm not counting them, but here we go. Look at the bathroom, the light coming in that window. That's so nice. Wow. Can you imagine living in a house like this? You can go to the bathroom anywhere you want. <laughs> Play hide and seek. There's a shower. That's a big shower. Like tall. All right. A lot of the rooms are the same. I like this hallway right here with the light pouring out through the doors into the hallway. There's another bathroom here. And then we're gonna come into this room and go upstairs, so let's keep going. This is the servant stairs that we saw from the kitchen right here. Let's head in here and we'll go upstairs. I think this goes up to the attic, but there's some pretty cool rooms up in the attic. All right, here we go. The windows up here and the shadows and the light are just amazing. Check out these creepy Amityville windows. Let's go. Yeah, there's a bunch of rooms up here. There's like the attic and then these little rooms. Here's one. Just little storage doors. And then these deep windows here. What would you call that, guys? What's that called? Where you have that, uh, that entrance there to the window. That's gotta have a name. I don't know what it's called. You guys do, though, because you guys know more about stuff than I do. Okay, then this is where we go back to a whole other side of the house with more rooms where it's like not so much attic, but it's actually living areas. And then this is the staircase that I said we're gonna come down when we're done up here, because there's still some rooms back here. This is probably one of my favorite bathrooms in the house. Just the way it's laid out, you got that really nice round window right there. And then really deep shower. And then you've got what looks like a bird's nest on the shower head up there. another room back here is two more rooms all oh, the windows are so nice
Okay, so why don't I do some panning shots now? We'll just check out the different rooms and some of the nicer scenes just without me talking. And then if I can find the information in the history, I'll do a voiceover over the music and uh, that's gonna be it. So before we go guys, thanks so much for watching. We're not done yet. So make sure you please hit that like button down below and drop a comment. Tell me what you thought of this place. Such a beautiful, beautiful house. And uh, that's it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button guys. Follow my channel. I got lots more good stuff just like this one. So we're not done yet. Don't go. We're gonna show a little bit of a slideshow. We're gonna show some pictures. We're gonna show some static shots. And I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a history and voiceover. So don't leave. Thanks guys. Peace. This abandoned mansion was once the site of one of the most famous farms in the region. It was known as a scientific farm, where testing was performed to breed chickens for more tender meat. And the milk produced here was world famous for its taste. The history of this property has included huge and prized dairy cow, world champion trotting horses, and a major event in the history of pop culture. This abandoned mansion is a 9,000 square foot colonial revival cut bluestone mansion that was built in the 1920s. The space was used to entertain guests who included dignitaries from all over the world. The original house plans show a large entrance hall, terrace, pergola, and sun parlor on the first floor, 10 bedrooms on the second floor, and lodgings on the third floor. The mansion remained in use in the capacity of entertaining guests until 1958. The 1950s would mark the decline of the farm as the owner's son sold out the land to investors who proposed a golf course. But when those investors learned that a major corporation was considering the site for a country club, they backed out. Between 1958 and the 1990s, the mansion sat abandoned and unused. In the mid-1990s, the mansion saw use for just a few days as a headquarters for media personnel during a major event. In the 2000s, a casino was proposed for this site. Finally, in 2020, local residents and business owners purchased the land for $4 million. These local developers are looking to build a mixed-use destination venue. The venue will include a 10,000-seat amphitheater, an adventure park, multi-unit housing, a technology park, campgrounds, and hiking trails with lots for single-family homes and estates. As of 2023, absolutely nothing has been done anywhere on the site of this mansion. At one point, it would appear that some renovations and restoration work may have been done on the mansion, but all that seems to have stopped. 